Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Neck Adventures. As always, I am your host, Rebel Squaw. Uh, today I wanted to give you guys an inside look at my 2001 Chevy Tahoe. <coughs> um, I talked in a previous video about showing you guys why I think that this particular vehicle is good for uh, shit, shit hits the fan situations, scenarios, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll give you guys an inside look at it, a little bit of a rundown. Um, and then what kind of stuff that I have inside there and what kind of stuff I intend to add on to it, take out, yada, yada. So stay tuned and we're getting into it. All right, guys. So, uh, first thing I wanted to go ahead and, you know, kind of show and whatnot was, um, the back hatch of the Tahoe. Um, <clears throat> give you guys a side look on the view here or a side view. The look at the Tahoe here. Um, you can see I got an assortment of different stuff back here. I had uh, my old black box back here that I used to have. You guys seen in my older videos. Um, that was pretty useful to have. It carried most of my stuff in it. I ended up giving it to a friend, a firefighter friend of mine that uh, needed it for to hold all of his gear in his truck. So I figured. You know, it's, it's at least getting good use out of it now, more than what it was when I was carrying it. So, first thing we have back here is my bug out bag, um, field pack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've given you guys a rundown of this thing before, so I'm not going to pull everything out of it again. But basic rundown, it has um, protein bars in there. It's got medical supplies on both sides of it and a little bit more medical supplies in the top pouch. This pouch has more clothing, um, work gloves, stuff like that. Um, this is really just like I'm, I'm constantly taking stuff in and out of this thing and, and you know, altering it. So uh, maybe once I get it set up again how I want it, I'll do another video of that if you guys would like. So we have that. One good use that I find for ammo cans is not only just for ammo, but uh, this is labeled as my roadside emergency kit. And I'll show you guys what's in this. I mean, just your basic run of the mill stuff. A um, couple of tools, some uh, waterproof packs of candles and shit like that. Um, like I said, just random tools and stuff like that if you break down. Uh, I've got lighters. I got one flashlight in there I know of. Um, couple of wrenches, screwdrivers, uh, just, you know, a little shop rag, random stuff like that, just in case, you know, whatever. But that stays in here at all times. You can even tell it stays in here all the time. You can see where it's imprinted right there. Um, let me set you guys up right here. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff back here, random stuff, I got a roll, paper toweling, whatever, forgot something inside of the road, uh, I'll get back here. And I need a drop of deuce, whatever, um, I got that. Uh, I got, I always keep jackets, hoodies, anything like that in here, you know, if you don't know if you're going to need it. So it's rain, it's cold, whatever. Um, this is just a basic gray hoodie with a, I call them kangaroo pouch on it. That's all that is. Nothing super special. I mainly wear, and what you guys have seen before, is my cowboy boots, leather boots, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have hiking outdoorsman boots here that I keep in here at all times. Change of you know, just change your clothes, or change the shoes, I should say, or footwear. And then I have some regular, just comfortable shoes um, that I usually, like if I'm driving long distance, like when I did my trip to Michigan, um, I switched into these because they were so much more comfortable to wear than the hiking boots or the boots that I have on now. I also have my you know, if you want to call this a tactical jacket, whatever, a tactical, whatever, starting to match, huh? Um, this has the 
hood that zips back up into the neck. That way you don't always have to have it out if you don't want. Um, it's got multiple freaking pockets on it just everywhere. You know, for storage needs if you need it. Whatever. Whatever boat's a boat. Um, I also have a couple of leftover shirts in here. Um, badass Star Wars hat. Mandalorian. This is the way. Last thing really back here that I have, just hard case helmet. I had on a job site that I was working. I don't really need it, but I mean, just for whatever, it's back there. Uh, the last thing that I do like about this, you know, when you have a vehicle, you kind of want your stuff to be a little bit secluded, especially when it's for, you know, survival and stuff like that. So this is I mean, this is the jack storage, or stowage is what they say on a little panel. Um, but I did at one point, and I usually do have a knife in here or something small. If I'm ever in a situation where, let's say, if I'm stuck on the side of the road, it's, shit, it's a pain situation, someone tries to come up on me, I have easy access to a blade that they can't see. And then it just pops back right into place. So now we're going to go to the middle section. All right. Trying to get this phone back up here. So now we are in the uh, second row seating of the vehicle. Uh, this is... Do I have a little bit more? Ah, oh, no. You know what? I'll do this. Something like that. There we go. This is where I have some more gear. Um, we have just a regular run-of-the-mill canteen here. Um, that I usually keep filled up with water or whatever. Uh, that is another thing that I will have in the back here. As you guys can see, this is a third row seating vehicle, but the seat, the third row seating is taken out from our storage back there. Um, because normally it's only me and a couple other people in this vehicle, three at the max, whatever. So I don't need those in there right now, which adds from our storage back there. Eventually I do want to get maybe like a miniature cooler to fit waters and stuff back there, or at least just keep a pack, like a big pack of water back there, just for emergencies. Uh, we have standardized HyperTough toolkit. Um, nothing special about it. It's got your wrenches, screwdrivers, uh, sockets, socket wrenches, stuff like that. Um, Allen wrenches, whatever. Uh, let, once again, like I said, just something to have in case you break down you know if, you, if it's a minor fix you can kind of do it yourself um, or at least do what you can until help arrives that just stays on the floorboard I have blades in every section of this vehicle at all times uh, this is one of the knives I've shown you guys on here before um, it just stays in a little back pouch on the back of the driver's side seat you know, you never know if you are, you know, you got people traveling with you, whatever, and, you know, if they need a blade real quick, whatever, defend themselves. Self-defense is always a big, you know, big thing when it comes to these survival stuff, uh, survival situations and whatnot. Um, I keep a lantern in here at all times. I have the batteries out of it right now so that they don't get, you know, it doesn't suck up the batteries. Um, it's got nice little magnet magnets on the bottom. That way, if you want to, you know, if you got to put it underneath your hood or whatever, if you don't want to use magnets, you can use a little hook that goes on the bottom. Um, and then also, you know, you can kind of hang it from the handles on the top. We also have just, you know, nice little set of ratchet straps here. Um, I found these for five bucks at Ollie's Bargain Mart or whatever. Um, I mean, just smart to have that if you ever in a bind and need some toe straps. So now what we'll do, to show you guys here, so in these Tahoes, there's a small little uh, loop right here. You just pull that, and now you've got, ignore the toys and stuff. Uh, now you've got storage under here. I keep more straps and then I keep my Gerber machete down there uh, Once again self-defense um, I mean any situation you need a machete 
if you got a clear debris or whatever, it's there. So now we're gonna take a final look up here in the front um, and we'll go from there. All right, so now we are in the front of this vehicle. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what I have up here. It's a little bit of a mess up here. I haven't cleaned it in a minute, so bear with me. Um, first, on the door panel, like I said, guys, I keep blades all over this vehicle. This is one of my favorite ones I have. Um, this is a nice little guy here, okay? Um, I was carrying this on me for a while, um, but I figured, you know what? I don't have enough, <laughs> I don't have enough blades in my vehicle, so it needs to go ahead and sit up in my Tahoe. Go all nice and comfy right in the side door here. This is a, uh, this was like a little toolkit, but, uh, I used it for, to carry my batteries. Um, I've actually had to use quite a bit of these, so I do need to restock them. Um, I have said before in like your bug out bags and stuff like that, you should always keep some type of... <laughs> no, <laughs> ignore the writing on that, it's funny. Um, but you know, if you need to write down directions, uh, coordinates, notes to leave somebody, whatever, you know. It's always nice to have that on you. You guys can see them a little bit right in the face. It's very humid, very hot. Um, in here, I keep first aid kit with oh shit. first aid kit with band-aids and gauze and, and regular shit like that. You know, for emergencies obviously. Um, just checking those dip cans if you get any in it. Um, I got a sort of uh, like pens, writing utensils, and stuff like that. Um, I have a couple of bottles of brake fluid in here that you guys have seen, just in case. Um, you know, it's smart to keep that kind of stuff on you if you can. And then my, uh, Fencing pliers, lines and pliers, whatever you want to call them. That's what's all in the center console. I used to have a lot more stuff in here, but I had to sell some stuff. Um, and then other stuff, I just decided I didn't really want anymore. And then the last real, like, major thing that I have up here is a gift from a buddy of mine, uh, Steven, Outlaw034. Or a, I think it, this channel might have been changed to Your Guardian. Well, he'll see this. So if you see this, Steve, uh, leave your new channel name in the comments below if it's changed but I mean this badass blade here this stays right there next to my center console it hasn't moved from that spot um, once again just nice to have something on you if you need it um, oh, it's so humid today it's crazy but yeah I uh, got the you know your car charger in here and stuff like that um, nothing really else that's super special about in here. Um, I like the Tahoe. It's big. It's bulky. It's got some ass behind it. Um, I took this thing to all the way to Michigan, all the way back, um, which is like 808, 810 miles one way. Um, so this thing did really well um, on that trip. I had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, it is a little bit more of a gas hawk, especially with gas prices right now. Thanks, Biden. Go fuck yourself. Um, but aside from that, this thing is a sturdy-ass vehicle. Um, I do plan, which I will show later on once I have everything updated on this that I want, um, I want to get a bull bar for the front. I want, there's a light kit that I want to get in here. And then I am going to get the Tahoe painted this color green. Um, it's going to be a badass vehicle, man. I am so excited to put all the work into this thing. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about us over here at Blue Neck Adventures because we can always use the support. 
Um, and I really don't know what the next video is going to be about. I'm kind of idea struck right now. It's really hard for me to do videos, especially out here in this heat like it is. You can tell it's kind of fucking with me, but we're going to done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.